Hello there patrons and subscribers to my channel. So today I'd just like to tell you about the next upcoming project which should be started in about four or five weeks time and that is a CNC router that is halfway between the the, the MIDI and the Maxi which I'm going to call the Amax for want of a better title. So this router is going to be quite different from both of the machines that I've built in the past. So this is going to be a three feet by three feet uh, working table. And it's going to be extremely rigid but it's going to be a tabletop or you can't really call it a desktop. A little bit uh, too big for a desk. So uh, I'll be building a you know sort of a a bench, its own bench, and um, I'm going to have it extremely rigid. And this time, I'll just show you the type of equipment that I'm going to be putting into it, and, I, and I'm going to try and make it a simpler design that you can make with. You know, hand tools, a hand drill, um, similar to what I did with the MIDI. If you look back 12 months ago when I built the, the MIDI CNC router, but of course this is scaled up more than four times the size of the MIDI, and uh, quite a bit smaller than the the Maxi. So this time, what I'm going to be putting into it is a water-cooled 2.2 kilowatt spindle. Now I did find with the air-cooled spindle I had, lovely, lovely tool, you know, it's fine, but um, it was still quite noisy. Uh, much, you know, probably twice as noisy as what uh, the water-cooled was. And um, I've had water-cooled spindles for for many years, and uh, I, I'm going to revert back to a water-cooled unit um, with a yeah 20 colored. Now linear guide rails. Um, what I'm going to I'm going to go to round linear guide rails because. Now I've built several different machines as, as you know and for me the rigidity of the larger linear round rails is just fine and they are a lot smoother than square linear guide rails. Um, and I don't see for a sort of a hobby or semi-professional machine um, there's no need to go to linear square rails. Um, now a milling machine, if you was building a, a CNC mill, different kettle of fish, you would, you would need to go to square linear rails. But uh, for a CNC router, even machine in aluminium, linear round rails are absolutely fine. Oops. There. And I'm trying to use all uh, Australian stock as well, but uh, I am noticing that uh, the stock in Australia is, is running out a bit, whether it's to do with, you know, sort of postal and freight problems, probably is. Um, and the stepper motors I'll be using, number 23s, uh, three newton meter tall, uh, running on, uh, oh, pass on back track a little, running on the SFU 1605s, okay, so that's 16 millimeter diameter. Okay, and for whatever one revolution it will progress 
five millimeters in any direction. All right, so the thread pitch there. Um, all right, there again, SBR, that SBR20, that's the, uh, the gauge of the linear round rails. Uh, yeah, NEMA, NEMA 23s for a, this CNC rudder, absolutely fine. Uh, I think these are 10 millimeter, yeah, 10 millimeter shaft, which is, uh, again, fine. You know, we're driving 16 millimeter screws, and they're only going to be, you know, a meter, meter 50 long, including the, the threaded area. And, um... It'll be fine, absolutely fine. So, um, I have actually ordered all this, um, but there again, you know, the freight, uh, the time which is going to come here, they're saying, you know, sort of uh, 15 to 28 days, but uh, it could be 50 days, you know, who knows. And the controller that I'll be using again will be an SMC I mean I've run it on the MIDI CNC router now for 12 months and uh, you know I've run codes up to you know a million lines long I did it without thinking about it you know never had a problem with it always worked it's always been a joy to use. Um, so I am going to hook another one up to this new CNC router. Um, but what I'll probably do is I'll make it interchangeable because I've got a Mac 4 board here, I've got a Mac 3 board here and I might make it so I can plug the, you know, the Mac 3 board in and disconnect this and run it via you know sort of Mac 3 or Mac 4. So I think that might be a good idea. So that's what's coming in the future. Um, hopefully I'm going to get started um, before the middle of November or the end of November because I want to be right into it you know, before Christmas. And it's summer here, you know, nice time to do these sort of jobs. And uh, again, I will be videoing every segment of the way, probably take 14, 15 videos. So you can see absolutely everything uh, of how to make one for yourself. And all the drawings, uh, specifications and information will be available as normal on my Patreon pages. So thank you for joining me. And uh, I'm not really sure what the next job is going to be, whether it's going to be a laser job or, or um, might even be a fibre laser job. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye for now.